Welcome! In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Xcover Pro and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. Now for this process we will need several different things uh, that well, might be a little bit hard to come by. Uh, as an example, one of those would be a phone! Uh, now that needs to be another Samsung device. So I do have a, what is it, uh, A72. Uh, but it can be basically any kind of Samsung device uh, with one UI. Um, and the reason we need that Samsung device, uh, it is literally required, um, is because Samsung devices come with an application called Smart Switch. And this application is also only accessible on the Samsung devices. Without it, uh, this well, process won't work. Uh, so basically what we use it for is uh, on the other Samsung device, which for me, like I said, is the 72A. Um, it needs to be unlocked and all you do is basically add a Google account uh, to it in the settings. So let's just quickly check if I have one here. Accounts and backup, my accounts, and yep, there it is. So you can see I do have an account added right here. And what we will do is use Smart Switch to move that account over to this lock device overriding the old account that is blocking us. So let's get to it. Now, well, I should also mention that we need a couple additional things uh, for actually progressing further. So for this process, I'm going to be using a Type-C to Type-C cable um, so I can connect the two devices together uh, so I can do the transfer. Now, it can be done over Wi-Fi. Uh, there is an option to, to do it over Wi-Fi, but it's just going to be a uh, slower process. So that's why I'm going to gonna be using the Type-C to Type-C. Now, if you have any newer Samsung device, uh, this cable comes in a box. So you can use it as well if you have anything newer. And additionally, we will need uh, just a normal Type-C to Type-A so you can connect it to your computer and obviously the computer. So now that you know everything that you actually need for this process, let's jump to the computer side where we can actually begin it, well, begin the process. So moving over. Okay, so as you can see, uh, now that we're done with the computer side, uh, hopefully, unlike me, you didn't get a blue screen with that crappy software. Um, but yeah, life is life, so uh, my computer is right now in blue screen mode. Awesome. Uh, but anyway, it still worked. So as you can see, there is the pop-up, which is what we are uh, required to... Oh, no. Oh, I clicked off, off of the screen. Um, and that basically closed it. Great, give me a moment. Uh, once my computer actually boots back up, I can try that again. Okay, well, I should be getting the pop-up any moment. And... Uh, there we go. Okay, so let's progress through it again. Hopefully I don't get blue screen once more. So once you see this pop-up, click on the view button and this will open up our web browser. And from here, let's just tap on the accept and continue. No thanks. And now I'm just going to close the program. And now in the Chrome browser, you want to tap right at the top and navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. There we go. If you need a moment, pause it. I'm going to otherwise progress further. And from here, stop consent, whatever, and choose the Galaxy Store. Now, once you tap on it, it will take you to the Samsung website uh, with a link to try now. Um, as you can see right here, this will link us to the Galaxy Store. So from here, let's tap, not, tap, the, tap that you agree and continue. And now we do need to update our Galaxy Store. So let's select it. Also, this is the time that we can actually unplug the cable because it's not actually needed anymore. Um, and once the Galaxy Store has updated, it will take us back to the web browser. So from here again, tap on Try Now, and this will relaunch Galaxy Store uh, already updated. And now let's tap on the search button, and what you want to choose here is the Smart Switch Mobile. If you don't see this uh, in the suggested list, simply type it in. From there, tap on the download link, this button that was right here, looking like this one, and this will initiate the download. Now, while this is downloading, you could also get your other device right here and do the same thing. So let me move this over, bring this up here, and I'm gonna launch this here. And in this device, I'm just gonna open up the Galaxy Store right over here and also download 
Oh, I guess I'm not going to be downloading it just yet. Put in a password. There we go. Just continue here and allow. And also, uh, right here on the lock device, let's choose that the lock device will be receiving data from a Galaxy Android, and it's going to be, at least for me, receiving it via a cable. There we go. And I'm also going to get that cable and plug it in. There we go. And on here, I'm just kind of deal with the cable so it doesn't move around. Uh, and here, let's try again. There we go. Again, we do need to also update this. There we go. So let's relaunch it after it updated. And let's search for the smart switch app, which should be again somewhere here, right there. There we go. Again, we do need to download it again. Or maybe not again. I'm downloading it for the first time on this device, which is the unlocked one. And again, let's open it up, continue, allow. And in here, we're going to select that this device will be sending data and it's going to be sending it over a USB cable. And from here, all we need to do now is simply plug in the other cable Oop. and give it a moment. It will bring up this menu right here uh, once it connects together. So again, let's allow access and allow here as well. And what this device is doing right now, the locked one, it's reading uh, all the data that is on the unlocked device, uh, the data that it can transfer over to itself. And once it's finished, you will see all the things that we can transfer. So I would suggest you if uh, the other Samsung device is something that you use on a daily basis, it's probably going to have a little bit more than 600 megabytes. Uh, so let's deselect all of this uh, and then only choose the account, home screen and settings. So the three different options right here, settings, home screen and accounts. That's all you need. From there, scroll down and select transfer. And this will prompt us. Uh, with the question if we want to transfer over the account that is on this device and that is a yes so let's stop on copy uh, and now it will tell us that we need to log in on the locked device with the account now this account is the hard reset info that is logged in on this device so it's right now telling us to log in which i'm gonna obviously do right here sign in And there we go. Once it signs in, it automatically will begin moving over all the data. And once the process is finished, we can basically unplug the device. Uh, this one, get rid of it. It's not needed anymore. And then also unplug this one so I can move it to the middle. And let's click on, go to the home screen. And uh, it won't actually take us to the home screen. It's going to take us back to the first page of setup but it doesn't really matter. So from here, let's stop on start and go through the setup of our device. And while you're doing this right now, I would recommend you just to skip everything that you can, uh, because at this moment, it doesn't really matter what we set up. And also, as you can see right here, uh, it gives us a message that account was added, providing us with the account that was on this device. Now, just to show it completely, I'm gonna leave this, go into the settings, and then accounts and backup accounts. And you can clearly see it's the same account. So this account got moved to, to, to this device. And right now it simply allows us to click on next and basically bypass the verification part. Now, while you, you're doing this right now, uh, skipping all of this, and even though you're gonna have access to the home screen, uh, the device is still not fully unlocked. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna show you in a second how to fully unlock it. And there we go, so we should have access to home screen. There we go. So from here, let's go into the settings, scroll down to general management, select reset, and then 
choose factory data reset, which will basically remove everything from the device that is including our Google account. As you can see provided at the bottom, uh, but it also removes the other Google account that is still on this device. So let's select reset and delete all and let the magic happen. So this unfortunately will take a couple minutes. It is a factory data reset after all. Um, so once it's finished, we should be then back in the setup screen, but at that point the device will be fully unlocked so we can set it up as however you like. Now, without further ado, I'm just gonna let it run and come back once it's finished. And as you can see now the process is finished so we can now set up our device as however you like. Now again I'm just gonna simply go through it as quick as I can. So I'm gonna skip the majority of the things that I can but you can do whatever you want. And there we go. So, as you can see, the device is now fully unlocked. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.